Butnikolyv is a beautiful southern city. It is called the city of shipbuilders. Butnikolyv can be rightfully called the city of students and youth. A group of young experts set out to get acquainted with the southern temper and bring Europe into a suitcase to people living in Nikolyv. Socially active representatives of youth from Germany, Poland and Ukraine form four international teams each year. Two people from each country to travel to Ukraine for meetings with their peers in the context of non-formal education. They are different, but united with the same objectives, to share their experience, knowledge and ideas about European system of values and standards, European perspective for Ukraine, accessible educational programs and opportunities for Ukrainian youth. Fathers of this initiative are the Konrad Adenauer Foundation, the Robert Bosch Foundation, the European Academy of Berlin, the Polish Robert Schumann Foundation and the Institute of Euro-Atlantic Cooperation. For six years already they make this program Dialogue Europe in a suitcase possible. During this period, young participants of the program have visited 73 towns and villages in Ukraine and have met 5,500 ambitious Ukrainians. I have absolutely no idea what's waiting for us. I don't know how they will meet us, but I think it will be fun. The main thing is not to oversleep the first meeting. I don't know what to expect today. I can only imagine. We have two meetings at two universities ahead of us. There will definitely be interesting and sharp questions from both students and teachers. After all, I'm a student too, and I think my experience will be interesting for them. I'm staying positive. I think that everything will go well. Students are advanced people. They'll have something to ask and will have something to say. I'm ready for any questions. I'm also interested in learning more about the life of Ukrainian youth. The meetings promise to be interesting. Nikolaev and Ukraine in general have met us well, and I think today's classrooms will be the same. Even though we're all a little worried, I think both us and the audience will be interested. I expect a million questions. Already have a million answers prepared. The Black Sea State University named after Petro Mohila is one of the youngest in the Ukraine. In the 16 years since the founding of the university, was able to win the right to be not just a public higher education institution of the four level of accreditation, but became an influential university in the south of Ukraine. We are here not only to simply answer the questions, but to find out how they perceive the European Union and integration processes. Our project has a form of dialogue, so I expect live communication first of all. Based on the experience of previous groups, I know that questions may be different from serious economic and political to simple everyday questions, 
For example, how much sausage costs in Germany? I expect to get information about specific educational and volunteer programs. Internet is full of information, but I would like to know about them firsthand. Also I would like to know what the European integration will give us. People talk about it so much, I want specifics. The project is very interesting. Our students will be excited to mingle with young people just like them and ask questions. It's great that the speakers are young guys. I think it will be much easier for them to find common language with our youth. A large number of students, who wanted to learn firsthand about what's happening in the European Union, bring up sharp questions and hear honest answers, gathered in the reading room of the university. The meeting was attended by the president of university Leonid Klimenko and vice president Mikhail Bagnet. Questions from the audience were primarily about youth projects and learning opportunities overseas. The topic of Ukraine and Europe was brought up too. Who needs who more? Who should make more efforts to be together? Questions of European integration, tolerance and multiculturalism were brought up as well. In addition to students and teachers the meeting was attended by member of Bashton City Council, leader of the local youth wing of the Front of Changes political party, project coordinator of the social organization a Euro Ospark a Euro, members of the All Ukrainian Youth Social Organization a Euro All Foundation of Regional Initiative as a Euro, project coordinator of the social organization Spark, members of the All Ukrainian Youth Social Organization Foundation of Regional Initiatives. We're excited that a project like Europe in a suitcase visited our university. Such programs are very current now. Ukraine needs to join in the European social and cultural system, learning from the experience of our Western colleagues. I hope that meetings similar to this will become a good tradition. We invite Europe in a suitcase to visit our city and university again. Everything went on the highest level, both organization and the guys themselves. It's useful to learn new information and dispel stereotypes. I decided for myself that I will get European knowledge, but will stay in Ukraine. Some stiffness of both guests and hosts, which was slightly observed at the beginning, disappeared quickly. The organizers encouraged it. They made sure to have sweet German prizes for active participants. The meeting proved to be surprisingly useful and interesting. I got complete answers to all my questions. As a representative of student government, I was interested in learning more about the European experience of educational processes organization. Very good that organizers of the project provided simultaneous interpretation of the meeting. However, many participants were sitting without headphones, understanding English without translation well. It seems that as a result of the meeting at least one brick in the wall between Ukraine and Europe has fallen off. The overall outcome of the discussion is one of the students encouraging Ukrainians not only strive to Europe to build Europe in Ukraine and thus become an integral part of it. Nikolaev National University named after Vasily Sokomlinsky is one of the oldest institutions of higher education in the south of Ukraine. It was founded in 1913 as a teacher's institute. National University named after Vasily Sokomlinsky is the leading institution of higher education in the south of Ukraine. I don't see any significant difference between young people of Ukraine and Europe. Yes, we have different history, but we're young and we clearly have much in common, even though opportunities are different. I'd like to know more about the possibilities for Ukrainian students overseas. I knew in advance that the meeting will take place at our university. We read about the project. 
I know that many people would like to participate in it. I think that even for Ukrainians it will be interesting to travel around the country, share their experience and learn more for themselves. I've known about Europe in a suitcase project for a long time. We gladly agreed to receive young Europeans here and arranged the meeting. Nowadays it is important to raise awareness of Ukrainian citizens on transformation processes that are taking place on the territory of European Union. It will always be relevant to know what is going with our neighbors and how it can affect us. I look forward to an interesting conversation. I think it will be a lively discussion on the European future of Ukraine. This program dialogue was held at the Department of Foreign Languages. The meeting was opened by Vice President on Scientific and Pedagogical Work Anatoly Sachenko and Vice President Igor Hakonegny. Students of Foreign Languages Department, Department of Child Development, Department of Philology and Journalism, Institute of Physical Culture and Sports participated in the discussion. In a lively debate the issues of self-government of European Cultural Center students and the prospects of students' participation in European exchange programs were discussed, also economic and political issues were brought up, and at the end the road suitcase of the group was filled with souvenirs to remember this meeting. I'd like to thank the organizers for this meeting. I like that the discussion was not one-sided. We discussed programs for young people, grants and activities of public organizations, as well as labor market specifics of culture and laws. Today's debate gave answers to my questions. We exchanged contact information. The guys promised to consult on educational programs in more detail. Young experts from Germany, Poland and Ukraine showed us Europe in a suitcase. Today our students learned more about European values and Ukrainian-European perspective, and also got information on existing educational and cultural programs in Europe. The modern world is full of information, but it's not always reliable. It's good that there are projects like this where students can get the required information in an easy and accessible form from young and unbiased people just like them. I liked the organization and equipment of the meeting. The guys were open and gave detailed answers to all questions, even uncomfortable at times. Our students were really interested. I wish such programs would be held at our university as often as possible. I think that our southern region is a little deprived of its due share in that regard. Today was very interesting for me and two hours of the meeting passed quickly, and thanks for the delicious sweets. The first day of our trips was surprisingly eventful, elite universities, numerous audiences and complete unawareness of what to expect. But if at the beginning of meetings there was a little agitation, it quickly disappeared later. I was pleasantly surprised by the level of knowledge of students and their openness to new things. Meetings were interesting because of variety of topics. Simple questions like how many of have been to Europe, please, raise your hand and who would like to go to Europe and why, enhanced the audience well. They were also used during the following meetings. A little provocative opinions of the participants of discussion drew attention and encouraged the audience to participate in the dialogue. The first meeting took place within the walls of Mykolaiv State University named after Petro Mahala. 
Of course there were worries at first, which were enhanced by the students' audience of more than a hundred people. But all worries were needless, everything went well. We thank the president of the university, who opened our meeting with his introductory remarks and helped us set good mood of the meeting. A good joke wins the audience right away and relieves tension. The method of incentive also worked well with the audience. We gave candy for questions it relieved some initial stiffness and people started feeling more at ease. It's great that candy was just a bonus and students were really interested in asking questions and getting answers. The second meeting gave us the opportunity to relax a little, though proved to be more productive. A relatively small audience of about 40 people was more uninhibited. Along with traditional issues concerning youth programs and projects sharp political issues were brought up. Several students were knowledgeable in the area of the European Union and volunteer programs. It was pleasant and productive to communicate with them. Pleasant ending of the day. Evening walk around the quiet southern city with new friends. The students of universities attended volunteer to arrange a tour of the city. Showed places of interest as well as their youth center and the monument to Europe. Along with that students of foreign languages department improved their German with Leo, a boy, who was born in Poland, recalled his native Polish language with Justina. That is how the extremely eventful and unbelievably interesting day with Europe in a suitcase went. And what happened next is another story. <laughs>